Hey, what's up people? I was surfing the web the other night and came across some interesting topics, one of them being rare medical conditions like rapid aging. I didn't even know that was a real thing, but it is. So let's go ahead and get into 5 rare and incurable medical conditions. 1. Progeria, also known as Hutchinson's Guilford syndrome, is an extremely rare progressive genetic disorder that causes children to age rapidly, beginning in their first two years of life. Children with this disease generally appear normal at birth, but during the first year, signs and symptoms begin to appear, such as slow growth, hair loss, and wrinkled skin. The average life expectancy for a child with progeria is about 13 years, but some have gone on to live past 20 years, while others have died younger. The cause behind this disease seems to be related to a single gene mutation to the gene known as Larman A. The Larman A gene is responsible for making a protein that holds the center of a cell together. So researchers believe that a defected Larma A gene makes cells unstable and causes this aging process. Unlike many genetic mutations, progeria isn't passed down through families, rather this mutation occurs in the child's genes. There is no known cure for progeria. Two. One of the rarest, most disabling genetic conditions known in medicine is fibrodysplasia ossificans progressivia, or FOP for short, which means soft connective tissue that progressively turns to bone. This disease causes your muscles, tendons, ligaments, and other connective tissues to be gradually replaced by bone. These bone formations outside of the skeletal system cause heavily restricted mobility and generally begin in early childhood, starting with the neck and shoulders, then working its way down to the rest of the body. A common symptom and sign of FOP is the malformation of the big toe. The root cause of FOP is a mutation in the ACVR1 gene, which helps control the growth and development of bones and muscles. Researchers believe that a defected ACVR1 gene disrupts the mechanism that controls the growth and development in the bones and muscles and as a result causes overgrowth of bone, cartilage, and fusion of joints. This genetic disease affects 1 in 2 million people and there is no effective cure. 3. Cotard's delusion, or better known as walking corpse syndrome, is a rare mental illness which causes the individual to believe they are dead, partly dead, or do not exist. This illness is very rare, so we don't know much about it, and there has only been a few cases to learn from. The first reported case was made in 1880 by the French neurologist Jules Cotard, when he had a woman claiming she was missing several body parts and organs, such as her brain, chest, stomach, and intestines. Because she believed she was missing various organs, she she saw no reason to eat and later died of starvation. Cotard said that the condition was a form of delusion associated with severe depression and this was the case of the most recent report of this illness. A man named Graham Harrison has been living with walking corpse syndrome for about 9 years. He attempted to commit suicide but was taken to the hospital where, when he awoke, believed his brain was dead. He was later referred to a neurologist who took a PET scan and found this. His doctors were astonished by their findings. The blue marked areas on Graham's brain resembles that of someone during anesthesia or sleep. But here he is, on his feet and awake. This just shows what very little we know about the brain and of this rare illness known as Cotard's delusion. 4. Here is another rare disease, so rare in fact that there has only been one case and that was on the Fields twins, which the illness was named after. Catherine and Christy Fields were both born with a neuromuscular disease that is now called Fields disease or Fields condition. The disease affects the body's nerves that cause voluntary muscle movement, and some symptoms are deteriorating muscles, damaged nerves, and involuntary muscle movement, which has left them to spend a great deal of time on wheelchairs. Researchers have concluded that the twins got the disease when they were born because no one else has had this disease before. Researchers are still learning more about the Fields disease, but it seems that the twins can pass this condition to their offsprings. As of now, the Fields twins are 22 and it seems the disease is getting worse and worse as time goes on. 5. Alien hand syndrome is a feeling that one's hand is possessed by a force outside of one's control. It sounds crazy, doesn't it? Like something out of a movie? Well, it's a very real thing, and the syndrome typically arises after trauma to the brain, such as after brain surgery, or after a stroke, or an infection of the brain. Pretty much anything with the brain can cause this syndrome, but it's a very rare occurrence. 
A person with alien hand syndrome can feel what the hand is doing, but feels like the hand is not part of their body and that they have no control over its movements. Different type of brain injuries can cause different subtypes of alien hand syndrome. For instance, an injury to the area of the brain where the two halves are connected can give movement to the non-dominant hand. So if you are right-handed, your left hand will be the alien, and vice versa. While an injury to the frontal lobe of the brain can give grasping and other alien movements to your dominant hand. And then complex hand movements such as unbuttoning and tearing of clothing are usually associated with brain tumors, aneurysms, or strokes. There is currently no cure for the syndrome, but patients are told to keep the alien hand busy by having it hold something in order to keep it under control. That is all the rare medical conditions we have for today. If you guys feel like we missed something, let us know in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. And if you are new, make sure to subscribe to be notified when we upload future videos. Thank you for watching. Until then, people, I'll catch you on the next one.